Yeah. Okay, so tell me the truth. Now, don't leave your phone there. It's going to fall on the floor. S sit on it like you're riding a motorcycle. Come on, come on, a smile. Good. It wouldn't hurt to have a smile. Jeez. Good with me. Wow, you're a hard sell. No, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Say it again. I'm, I'm very, very happy. happy. So Chris has taken Hug Girl home. Hug Girl. I love that. Anyway, we did a quite a bit of work on this and uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be uh, the seat came out beautiful. What do you think of the seat? Luke, it's in the car. <laughs> and next time I see this it better not look like you know it fell overboard in a storm or anything. <laughs> well, I'm a mean bastard ain't I? <laughs> wow the feet are on the ground at last. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That was a serious big thing. I I just I waited two years to get that done for her. And finally her feet are on the ground. So Chris picked up the bike. She looks like she's got her feet on the ground at last. Now the next thing I wanted to clean this up after a long ride we had today and so <laughs> put this back in his slot. And is everything about the bike today. We we just went for a ride. I was so excited to go for a ride. And turned out to be great. <laughs> and I can't complain. And I'm sure Chris is ready to start the riding season for her. So we'll get back out here tomorrow morning and we'll be good to go. We'll see what we never know when you work at night like this, you never know late in the day. I'm used to working in the morning and you never know what comes your way. But tomorrow morning we'll start off as if as if it's a bright new day. And it will be. Well, with everything put back. <laughs> In that parking spot, it feels like the garage is empty. And we're ready to get back to working today. Tomorrow. Today, boy, you lose track of what day it is. When you get a nice ride in like we did today, the day goes so fast, you don't even know what... Right now, I don't even know what day it is. But I know tomorrow will be another day in paradise. So late last night, Chris emailed me. She is really happy with the bike. She wrote about, uh, I don't know how many miles it is up to Newburgh, but it's a long ride anyway. It's an hour, hour and a half. And she loved the fact she can get her feet on the ground again, which I was very happy to hear. So best of luck with Chris and that, and we'll probably see her very soon. She'll, of course, now she'll be enjoying a ride a lot more. Now I'm oogling my parts, but I know I'm not going to work on this. Not today, because today is one of those days and we always get one when you least expect it. We may have several this week. Unseasonably warm. They're talking about it might go into the 50s today. Can you imagine? We have had the most unpredictable weather. And if we do, I'm in a mood to ride that RD. So I'm going to have my coffee and get suited up here before, get, before the weather changes. And boy, whenever we hear that the weather is going to be nice. Oh, this time of year. We definitely, we definitely will have our coffee and not lollygag and get out on the open road. So it's really, really nice. <laughs> I can't believe what the weather's been like. Now, I always have to be careful. I have all these bikes moved around from when Chris's bike was here. But it's time. And this, just knowing, just knowing that it's not going to be oh, really cold. I am, I am done with winter. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. So I'm wondering why all bikes can't be this light. <laughs> if only I could make the FCR. <laughs> the FCR is like an oil tanker compared to this guy. Oh, we are ready. What? It is truly a thing of beauty to see a blue sky and a yellow RD. Oh boy. Artwork. So nice that we got this all detailed out the other day, and it is absolutely ready to go. And I'm ready. And the weather's ready. Oh, the smell of two-stroke oil in the morning. Oh, I love it.
wanted to take this picture for my modeling friends. This is what's left of the Garden State Circle Burner Field, an iconic place in modeling where uh, many of us spent many years of enjoyment. And I know Ruben asked me to shoot some pictures a while back and other, other ones of my modeling friends. And that's all that's left. And I'm sure they're going to turn it into condos eventually. What a sin. The end of the Garden State Circle Burner Field. Everybody has a Mack truck on their front uh, lawn. Pretty cool. Well, you never know what you're going to do. downstairs and look in a mirror, back to being 74. But even for a few hours, this is a time machine. And it makes me feel young again. And I hope it I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. It's it's been a good motorcycle. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.